guys, it's Alicia. Today I'm going to show you how my husband smokes up a brisket. I was really craving something smoked and we decided on brisket and it turned out absolutely delicious. So I just thought I'd show you how he does that. So the first thing he's doing here is obviously just taking it out of the package. And now he's going to trim some of the fat off of this on both sides. He's starting with the leaner side here and then he's going to flip around and start cutting on the fattier side. And there is quite a bit of fat on this and he's not going to cut it all off. He's just going to trim some of it off. Once he's got the fat trimmed off, he's going to start seasoning it. And here he's putting on a little kosher salt, a little fresh ground black pepper. Some garlic, chili powder, and cumin. And then he's going to take that and just kind of rub that in. He's going to flip it over on the other side and repeat the same process. This is obviously way bigger. It's longer than what's going to fit in here. So I'm going to kind of shoe it, shoehorn it in between the handles. And then this shrinks considerably, <clears throat> excuse me, because there's so much fat on it. I mean, so by the time it, you know, gets halfway through the, the cooking phase, it'll be sized right for the smoker. Um, so this is set up with pecan. It's already going. Um, so I'm going to set this in here and then hook up the blower uh, to maintain the constant temp. So this is, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot for like a 325 for around three hours. I'm looking for an internal temp of 170. At that point, I'm going to pull it, wrap it in tin foil, and put it back on. And then I'm going to be looking for an internal temp of 210. Um, so the whole thing will probably take around five hours, plus or minus. Probably not minus, but maybe between five and six hours. So I don't know how well you can see that, but it's in there. That's all I'm looking for. And you don't need to watch me put the uh, put the cables in there. But we're going to close this up, and then it's going to start the cooking process. Okay. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Didn't really shrink up. No, not too much. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap it as best I can. Don't want any liquid to be able to escape at this point. Okay, so we're going to leave it in until it gets to probably just under 210 because I'll let it I'll let it rest a little bit but so far so good you know that to me doesn't look dry I think people have this idea that um, when you do high heat barbecue that it dries out the food but that's not the case per se so uh, the internal temperate uh, 210 on the probe um, when I get out the the inch to read it's a little bit lower and you know, maybe around 201 which is fine because uh, meat continues to to cook on the inside for a while um, so I'm done cooking it I'm just gonna wrap it um, wrap it up with the with this tin foil and I put a towel around it they're gonna put it in a cooler um, and then that's gonna keep it hot until it's ready to serve and that keeps it hot for uh, a number of hours 
Um, and so when I pull it, to, when I pull it out to, to carve it up to serve, it should be um, hopefully right on. It looks good. It smells good. Yeah. So the brisket's got two points. It's got the point, two parts, the point and the flat. Um, and obviously this is way thinner and so it cooks differently. But typically you'll get like burnt ends and slices out of this. And then somewhere in here you'll get some shredded and then the rest of it's um, just slices. Um, but let's see, let's see how we did. So that's nice, you got a little bit of a smoke ring. And that's one thing about high heat barbecue is you you have less time in the smoke, but you can see this a little bit of the smoke ring there. A little bit more there. It smells yummy. Yeah, it does. Let's, let's get a, a little bit of that, shall we? Take a taste. Well, verdict. That's real tender. And this is not a tender cut of meat, which is why it's used for barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it turned out good. What do you think, Bella? She says, I think I want to try it. Oh, she got a bite. That's why she's always there. She knows eventually. So you, I don't know if you can see how it's becoming striated. Mm -hmm. You see how the fibers yeah. are going this way, so that's we're getting into the where where it'll be um, shredded. So I'm going to cut this up into slices, and then I'll move to see if I can shred some of this. And we don't need to show it all, but I just wanted to show how nice. I mean, that's a beautiful bark on there. A little bit of a smoke ring. It tastes really good. It's very tender, and this is the toughest part here. And so as we get in here, it'll be even more tender. So I think this was success. Success, and it took. Uh, a little less than six hours start to finish okay um you know so a lot of a lot of people they do brisket low and slow you're doing 14 15 hours mm -hmm. um, whereas you know this is it, it, it more than half or less than you know more than half faster it's so like yeah. a genius um but yeah <laughs> anyway okay. so we'll get this cut up and hopefully folks enjoy it tonight all right and i'll probably insert a picture somewhere of of how we're serving this and here is how we served up that brisket. We just made little sandwiches out of it with the shredded skull of Hawaiian roll there and some barbecue sauce on it. And then we also, with the brisket, had some macaroni salad and those there are my crock pots, barbecue beans that I make. I do have a video on those. I will link up above and down below.